In the heart of the old town, in Sheridan Street, is the Folklore Museum, hosted in a warm house, including a wide, organized collection of various traditional items that represent how locals lived during the 18th and 19th century in Crete. The themes of the museum unfold the life and daily activities of the people in the countryside, plowing, sowing, harvesting, threshing, and the threading of grapes. The museum was founded in 1990 by Aspasia and Irini. These two women traveled in the Cretan villages to gather several folklore's exhibits such as embroidery, textiles, lace, handicrafts, and agricultural tools for the museum. It is also possible to meet Mrs. Bikaki and witness her embroidering or sewing in action. The house is divided into different rooms depending on the subject in which it is centered, whether it is the kitchen, the bridal bedroom, or the traditional living room where the engagement used to take place. Different areas of the room are used to show the importance of the home and the role it played in people's lives as they navigated special moments. Those are things like marriage, the bridal bed, or the living room, where the hostess would welcome her guests and the kitchen. The collection of lace and embroidery, a part of which is exhibited on the walls, is wonderful, while the big wax dolls that wear traditional dress that was worn. There are also models of the workplaces of traditional professions, such as a cobbler, a tailor, and a rope and basket maker. The bridal bed and the sitting room settee are also impressive, as well as exhibits of various ornaments, objects of daily use, musical instruments. Of particular interest are the textiles and embroidery in the museum which are creations of its founders and their students. These are replicas of rare embroidery that they managed to gather from all over Crete. Equally important are the embroidery tables depicting scenes from the local customs. You can witness the way people used to do their daily agricultural tasks, which were commonly plowing, sowing, harvesting, and threshing. There are also some old cooking utensils and furniture, along with machines for the raw material process like silk or wool. In some of the embroideries, you can even see daily life representations too. A lot of the exhibits are creations of the founders and their pupils, that seek to learn traditional embroidery techniques.